Hello, my dearest one. You are welcome to the Michael Love Angel Speaks. This is your one YouTube channel that offers you seven different topics every week of the month. Here in we have deliverance ministry, born again identity, love and romance, matrimonial admonition, the human heart cast, ministerial admonition, and the health factors. We love you. We are here to offer you the best because we are the best. We pray that God will bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Once again, you are welcome to the Matrimonial Admonition Season 8. Mr. Lovinger Speaks welcomes you with the love of the Lord God Almighty. I pray that the Lord Most High will bless you all. In the mighty name of Jesus, Amen. Our Heavenly Father, we give you glory this moment. We pray that your spirit will take preeminence. Lord, let there be open heaven. May you bless the YouTube community. May you bless our audience, O oh Lord. May you bless our partners all over the world. Let your name be highly lifted on high over everything. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Alright, once again, you are welcome to Matrimonial Admonition Season 8. Alright, you are welcome. Today, uh, it's like I've been saying something at infinity. Okay? I've been saying one thing all over and over again. What is it about matrimonial admonition? If not to talk about husband and wife, all right? <clears throat> Today, I want to talk on a topic that says your wife is your vineyard. Your vineyard is a farm, it's a garden, it's a piece of land. It's a kind of infrastructural area. It's like an industry, okay? What does that mean? Do not be carried away by the word vineyard if you are a medical doctor. What this means, according to the scripture, is uh, your source of income, your source of livelihood, all right? Okay, I am talking to men, but I also invite women to listen. Because if it is well with you, it will be well with your husband. If it is well with your husband, then it will be well with you. Remember that eh, you two, you are compatible, uh, uh, like uh, you are complementary. You cannot say, I am a woman, I have all the blessing, okay, then I don't need a man. No, you are nothing if the man does not invest in you or on you. It takes a man to till up the ground, to clear the bush, to plant the seed, okay? Before the manure and the water will begin to give the increase, all right? Okay, your wife is your vineyard. What does that mean? Listen attentively. Uh, let us take something from the Bible book of Ecclesiastes chapter, chapter 2. Listen as I read from verse 17. Therefore, I hated life. Because the work that was done under the sun was grievous to me. For all is vanity and grasping for the wind. Then I hated all my labor in which I have toiled under the sun. Because I must leave it to the man who will come after me. And who knows whether he will be a wise man or a fool. Yet he will rule over all my labor in which I have toiled and in which I have shown myself wise under the sun. This also is vanity. Therefore, I turned my heart and despair of all the labor in which I have toiled under the sun. For there is a man whose labor is with wisdom, knowledge, and skill, yet he must leave his heritage to a man who has no labor for it. This also is vanity and a great evil. For what has man for all his labor, and for the striving of his heart, with which he has toiled under the sun? For all his days are sorrowful, and his work grievous, even in the night his heart takes no rest. This also is vanity. There is nothing better for a man than that he should eat and drink, and that his soul should enjoy the good in his labor. This also I saw was from the hand of God. For who can eat or who can have enjoyment more than I? For God gives wisdom and knowledge and joy to a man who is good in his sight, but to the sinner he gives the work of gathering and collecting that he may give to him who is good before God. 
this also is vanity and grasping for the wind. I want us to concentrate on this verse 26, the last verse that says, For God gives wisdom and knowledge and joy to a man who is good in his sight. But to the sinner, he gives the work of gathering and collecting, now that he may give it to the person who is good before God. Alright, when we talk about the plan, the God is saying his word, I know the plan I have for you, the plan of goodness, nothing evil, to give you a, a great future, the, uh, your expected ending, okay? Also, when we talk about God who promised to the people of Israel, I will lead you to a land that is flowing with milk and honey. Remember, we're talking about your vineyard, a land. God said, I will lead you to a land that is flowing with milk and honey. All right? Okay. So, there are promises of God. The Bible says that God gives good things to the people that uh, fears him. But even on the general scale, he gives the rainfall and the sunshine to everyone. All right. Now, one thing I wanted to set your mind on is that when we talk about our Lord God Almighty, God have a plan for everybody. Okay. And no matter how complicated your life might be as a human being, no matter how complicated, no matter how much thing you are involved with, your life can be summarized in this manner, okay? That you are a sower, you are a, a, a pilgrim, you are on a pilgrimage, you are just taking a journey until you enter into that promised land. I want you to liken your life as the life of the people of Israel life out of the captivity in the land of Egypt, divided the Red Sea, and then they took that journey in the wilderness, and eventually they crossed the river Jordan and entered into the blessed land of Cana. That blessed land of Cana, the promise of God, the land flowing with milk and honey, represents your female partner. Remember, we are talking about matrimonial admonition. I am going to tell you a few things, okay? Uh, something that will be be beneficial to you. All right. Remember, I often tell you that uh, all the females that you see on the planet Earth today, they are categorized into four. According to the Bible book of Genesis chapter 2, okay? About that water from the garden, that water from God. That water now is representing blessings, okay? It represents blessings. So, there is a single fountain head, okay? For a single source of water. But when it came out of the ground now it divided into four what does that mean whatever that is coming from the lord god almighty is good okay but now human being has gone in search of many things human being has formatted a lot of things because of the sin on the planet earth many things have been uttered okay so that single source of water divided into four now so each one of them carries blessing now, if we are to divide all the women on the planet Earth into four, <laughs> okay, how many of them do you think that carries blessing? Divide them into four, only one carries blessing. The third part, they are just, oh my God, I don't know what to call them. I'm not saying that they do not have blessing, but um, that they, what they have is not the original purpose of God for human beings. That's what I have to say in this regard. All right. Why is this thing happening? Because when people are coming into this world, many people will pass through dustbin, many people will pass through desert. Remember, I'm talking about female. This thing I'm saying has to do with women alone because men are not the vineyard. Women are the vineyard. Just like we can see Sahara Desert. At, okay, Sahara means desert. Okay, just like we can see desert, we can see temperate land, we can see swampy area, we can see loam soil, 
clay soil or was some of the soil they are good for agriculture for molding for casting uh, mm -hmm. all of that thing many of the ground even when you look at them they seem to be desert they might not be fertile for agriculture but they might contain natural or mineral resources all right this is what i'm talking about when we are talking about vineyard we're talking about the female gender last time i told you that uh, the creative power of god when god created the planet earth okay created everything that power of creativity is not available in men or male gender okay it's not available available in the man that power is only available in the woman all the women on earth they are the people that have the 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 creative power of the almighty god men don't have this so this will all begin to open your eyes to see how important women are okay so that power is available with them so when they are coming because of the sin of adam and eve now this was not the original intention of god because when god made man out of the dust of the earth according to genesis the same genesis chapter 2 verse 7 after making the man god planted a garden okay and made so many good things to come out of that garden for the man okay this is representing the ideal woman that god made for the man okay but now after the sin of adam and eve oh when people are coming into this world some people pass through desert some people will pass through dustbin. Some people will pass through rock. Some people will pass through darkness. And the blessing that they are bringing into this world will be taken away from them. So when they come here, they will become dry, dry, dry. They will become dry. So if a man gets himself entangled with a dry personality, oh my God, uh, what a pitiable state. Okay? And this is what I want you to avoid i am going to tell you how to avoid this number one is that you must acknowledge the lord god almighty he said that god gave wisdom knowledge and joy to the man who fears him but to the man who does not regard god he gave the punishment let me use the word punishment of laboring and then gathering wealth so that eventually that wealth will be given to the man who fears God. All right, when we talk about that wealth, that wealth for a man is embedded in the female gender. Okay, your partner. Oh, I assume that you are legally married, okay? Because with this thing we are talking about them, married people. Now, in summary of this first um, context we are trying to make you understand that god has a divine plan pleasant plan to give you blessing to get you yoked up or linked up with that single person out of the four that is bringing blessing that is when you fear god now this is what is being illustrated in the bible book of um Bible book of a proverb, all right. Let's go to the Bible book of proverb, proverb chapter 27. Okay, let us look at what the Bible say in that place. It say, um, okay, maybe we should read this one later on, all right. Okay, we should read this one later on. What I am saying now is that. Uh, God has a divine plan for you, okay? The Bible says that he that finds a wife finds a good thing and obtains favor from the Lord, showing you that God wants you to inherit good things, okay? You can summarize the life of a man. The life of a man is attached to the wife, okay? All right. This thing, they are dead. They ought to be simple, even though they, they seem to be mysterious, but they are simple. Just summarize it this way. You are a seed sower. You just have a few seed, and you are you should be looking for a fertile ground. And the, out, of, out of the four personalities, out of the four personalities, only one is the fertile ground. 
how do you identify you cannot know the fertile ground just by visual observation you cannot know it just maybe someone is from america or someone is educated someone is beautiful or ugly short or tall that in complexion or, or, or fair in complexion no there is no physical criteria which i will tell you that this is what you are going to observe this is the perimeter this is the, the, the key or this is the beacon this is the light okay that will help you to identify that single person that is carrying blessing so the only alternative you have here okay the alternative the only choice the only choice you have here is that uh, you must recognize the lord god almighty all right let me say this thing also before i forget this is not the reason why it is not good to jump from one woman to another even as a single there are people who are into to time in they consider themselves as um like um how do i put it i don't know how to put it now the way you but i i believe you understand what i mean they consider themselves uh, players okay okay they jump from one romantic partner to another let me tell you something you do not know let me tell you whenever you are you have created a soul tie with somebody that is romantically involved with someone all the energy of that person has come into you and your energy has gone in now i want you to imagine now that you have maybe like two or three romantic partners you do not know and i am talking about uh, the people that carry blessing and people that bring uh, hardship or causes okay how can you know how do you know the person that is carrying blessing? So, it is good that you fear the Lord, first of all. Last time I was speaking in um, love and romance, and I was advising every single to get paid up, okay? Because two is better than one, okay? I pray that God will give you direction. That is, if you fear God. Remember, God wants to bless you. He prepares something good for you. The Bible says, He that finds a wife finds good and obtain favor from the Lord. Okay? This is what we are talking about. How do you identify the one that is carrying blessing? How do you identify the person? It is just by having the fear of God and then you pray, God will give you direction. Remember, He said that then. Eh? The work of that uh, unfaithful man, the work of that person who doesn't regard the Lord God Almighty, the profit of his labor will be given to the man who fears the Lord. Okay? So if you started where we started to read the play, it's talk about doing your work with wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, then you have to leave it for someone else. Oh my God. Another person will come and inherit whatever you have labeled for. He's talking about maybe some people that are jumping, like I've just said, from one partner to another. Let me tell you, when you are romantically, or let me say, when you are sexually involved with a woman, you are laboring. You are laboring. It is like, and if eventually you are not going to marry that person, this is what is being illustrated with the portion of the Bible. Another man will inherit your labor okay i want you to simplify this concept like the perfect example is that when people want to have a child or when they want to have children now how do they do it is it not the same thing i'm telling you the man will go into the vineyard and plant the seed and will walk away and then the land will have all the seed they manure the temperature the pressure the water cycle the carbon cycle everything i'm now talking about the, the menstrual cycle of the woman everything therein the man don't have to concern himself with whatever that is happening afterwards all the creative power that to make a human being and bring a human into this world it is only available in the female so what happens as a single i'm now talking to men as a single you live a life of jumping from one woman to another you are laboring and then eventually how many are you going to marry at least one so people may even have even for even before they get married they must have had a total number of 50 different girlfriends and their spermatozoa that is the seed of their life has been oh my god has been released into those 50 women those are your wealth 
those are your labors and you are not going to marry them eventually another man will come and inherit your labor this thing they are missing you may not even understand how serious it is okay so have the fear of the Lord so that another man will not inherit your labor. When you have the fear of the Lord, God will give you direction. When you pray, trusting the Lord, you are going to get a, 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 a connected with the person that carries the blessing. Remember, this is very serious. Out of all the women, the ladies, whether they are one year old or they are 120 years old, out of all of them, divide them into four. Out of the four, only one group carries blessing. The three groups out there, oh my God, if you come in contact with them, even ordinary sexual intercourse, you are not, remember when you go into there, the energy from that woman, the energy from that woman has entered into your being, into your your, your personal um your personal um, universe, okay? So, you can see. So, if it happened to be a woman that carries causes, you have inherited that cause. <laughs> and even when after you have established physical breakup, but the soul tie is still there. <laughs> that is what I am saying. The soul tie is still there. There is this law of uh, entanglement. Okay, uh, one day I am also going to talk about it in one of the universal law because it is one of the universal law. Okay, that when two objects have come together and they have reacted after the separation, no matter how far apart you separate the two, they will continue to react with each other. So, whenever you have been romantically involved or sexually involved with somebody, even after the breakup, you can decide to get married to another person and the person will get married to another person. But you two are still one. This is what we are talking about. So it is no good to labor for another man. All right? Have the fear of the Lord. And God will do what? Will give you good thing. Will give you a woman of blessing. All right? This is the first thing I want you to understand in this concept. All right? Remember we are talking about your wife is your vineyard. Okay? Now... When we talk about vineyard, how do you plant your seed? First of all, you go into the vineyard, clear the thing, the weed, the bushes, everything, remove the stone. This thing is talking about them. Eh, how to put a woman in the right mood so that her soul will release the blessing to you. Huh. Okay? So that the soul will release the blessing to you. Or if you get your partner angry, hmm, oh my God. You are creating trouble for yourself because that piece of land that's supposed to give you pleasant fruits and vegetable will turn around and begin to give you taste and tart, begin to give you weeds, unwanted crops, something that you never paid for, something that you never desired. All right, this is what you need to know. There are three things here I want you to understand about the female gender. Maybe we may discuss about it briefly and then we will have our break this moment. Remember when we talk about the female gender, they have this concept about them, hypergamy. Okay? Hypergamy, what does that mean? They are every woman out there is looking for a champion, the champion among the men. Okay, so you just have to get prepared, learn how to be a man. All the things I've been talking about in love and romance and then matrimonial admonition is all about how men can be men so that they won't they can manage their their relationship and their marriage all right okay so female gender they are hypergamous in nature meaning they want to marry only one person but that person should be greater than they are should be the best among the best okay but men on the other hand they are polygamous every man out there want to go home with all the women available <laughs> but all the women out there all of them want to go with just one man if that man will happen to be the leader of every other man out there okay 
this story or this concept is best illustrated with the marriage concept of uh, King Solomon and the Bible. The richest, the wisest, and he married 1,000 female. Okay? Now, another thing I wanted to understand about the female gender is that uh, they are emotional. Uh, they don't use their head. They use their heart. Okay? But how do I uh, summarize this emotion? They are like children. Do not expect their behavior or their conversation to make sense. Okay? Okay? You are the one who will bring sense into the conversation. Okay? So learn everything you need to learn about uh, Abraham Lincoln said that he has something like this. If he has eight hours to chop down a tree, he would spend six hours sharpening his axe. Okay? That is preparation. Preparation. Many people out there, they are not yet even emotionally or spiritually mature to go into marriage. Uh, but because they think they have the money or every other person, their age mates are getting married. And then, what, let me ask you, even as a husband, as a young man, how much do you know about the female gender? Do you know what makes the female gender ticks? I'm talking about female now as general group, a singular general group. But that's not even where it stops. Because after generalizing them, you still have to come back and begin to study the, uh, the individual that you are dealing with. This is also what I talked about in the human heart cast. Because basically there are 12 different types of human beings. And each one of them is not the same. Okay, But for the sake of simplicity, let us generalize all the female out there. Okay? Other things remaining equal, apart from the culture, apart from the education, apart from the religious orientation, generally, generally, how much do you know about the female gender? I will just give you a clue in an overly simplified manner. I want you to study yourself as a man and everything about you is exactly the opposite of the female gender, okay? Let me give you this funny example. If you love taking hot water in the morning, then the female gender hates taking hot water in the morning. Okay? If you like keeping to yourself whenever there is stress, whenever there is problem, okay, you should understand that the female gender love hmm, to get busy or to talk or to be talked to or to be listened to whenever there is trouble or whenever there is stress. Okay? If you don't like making eye contact as a man, then let it be easy for you to understand that the female gender, they love making eye contact. So, make research, study everything you need to, to that you, you know that is available about the female gender so that um, you will not destroy your life. Okay? Because these people I'm talking about, <laughs> Maybe your mind makes sense. Their own mind does not make sense. Or their minds do not make sense. So, I just talked about them. Emotion. They are highly emotional. Whereas men are rational. Okay? But women, they are irrational. They to use their heart to do whatever they want to do. But men, they use their head. Okay? Fine. Alright. The third thing I want you to understand before we take our break here is that um, they are contrary. Okay? <laughs> See, we know that uh, men and women, they are, like in English language, they say the opposite of a man is a woman. Okay? But um, uh, what about compatibility or complementing? Okay? A man is complementary with a woman. Okay? But in this concern, I also want you to consider this uh, contradiction. They are also contrary to each other. All right? They are contrary to each other. What does that mean? What makes sense to this does not make sense to the other. All right? And this is the foundation for misunderstanding. This is the, the foundation for chaos in the relationship. Have you ever come to wonder why a dear high level of end breakups and the divorces all over the planet Earth, the more affluent the society is, the more civilized the society has become, the more the occurrence of breakups and then divorces. 
Why is that? Why is that? Because people, oh my God, the kind of education that people are exposed to these days, oh my God, it is highly intellectual. Okay? It is highly intellectual. Whereas people are meant to forget that we are spiritual beings. Okay? Basically, we are spiritual beings. And we should read people from the spiritual source. Okay? So, uh, 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 people can just read the book. You can imagine. Let me give you this example now. Maybe someone has become a medical doctor. How long, how many years does it take to become a surgeon? As an example, let's say an average of eight years. Okay? Okay? Let me tell you now. A man has spent a lot of money, years, energy, and effort for eight years or nine years, other things to remain equal, to become a medical doctor, a surgeon, as an example. Okay, he has become the very best, a professional with a PhD degree. Okay, fine, a consultant in the field of surgery. But now, he does not know anything about the female gender. But eh, he is certainly going to get married or he is already married. So now, what am I trying to point out here? In the field of work, millions of people or thousands of people will depend on him for their life, to save their life. Oh, but at home, he has become a loser. He cannot even save the life of the single most important personality in his life. People can spend years trying to study the sex of life, trying to study the house fly, trying to study the, the, the mosquito. And then they'll come out and become professor of mosquito study. Huh. But when they get home, they can't even control their children. They can't even satisfy their wife. Because they don't even know what the wife needs. This is what I am trying to make you understand so that you can avoid all these things. All right, maybe this is where we're going to take break. We've just talked about hypergamy, okay? You have to be the best man out there, okay? That's the only way for you to satisfy your wife, okay? Get money, get a job, learn what it takes to be a man, okay? Don't be a wussy, don't be a nice guy. Don't be a pushover, don't do whatever that people tell you. No, stand your ground. Be proud of whom you are. And then have the self-confidence. The greatest asset you have as a man is natural confidence. Okay? Because women, they don't have it. They are dependent on you. Even if a lion should enter into your apartment, do not shrink. Do not, do not flinch. Stand your ground, okay? And face that lion. It is better for you to die fighting the lion. Your wife will respect you that you are a real man than for you to run. While the children are running, the wife is running. And then a man of the house will also, oh my God. No, 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 no. This is totally uncalled for. All right. The second one is that they are emotional. Don't expect women to be sensible. Don't expect their life to make sense, okay? They use their heart, but men use their head. So the heart is spiritual. The heart is irrational. The heart is emotional okay the heart doesn't belong to the physical head okay so don't expect what women do to make sense and again another thing okay we're not talking about the menstrual cycle when we talk about the menstrual cycle now you understand that every single woman you see is a an entirely different personality every day of the month so this is how complicated women are okay so you need to get prepared and finally they are contrary all right, they are contrary. I don't know, I even know how to explain this thing. Just simplify it that there, whatever you want to do is exactly what they don't want to do. Okay, two of you can make a plan to go on a journey now, but on the way, they will just turn around. You've been trying to travel to the east, they'll just turn around with them without warning, without any explanation. They will turn to the west. Okay, how are you going to handle? Are you going to get angry? If you get angry, you are making the matter worse. Are you going to leave her? Okay, you leave her, you are a loser. Okay, you just have to calm down and use wisdom to correct her and bring her back. Lead her, you are the leader. All right, I pray that the Lord God Almighty will give you understanding into all this. Remember, we talked about 
that your wife is your vineyard everything about you everything about your 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 your, your blessing is available is available it's going to flow the lord god almighty when he wants to bless a man i often tell people that no single guy is rich or poor okay because you are still taking a journey it is only when you identify arrive into your your, your promised land that is now the female the woman you are going to marry and then you will be registered <laughs> lucky you if he, she happened to be the one that is carrying blessing even if you have been the poorest guy on earth okay oh my god if you keep that woman happy blessing of god inside her will flow into you but if you happen to be a billionaire today and then you get linked up with uh, somebody that is called carrying poverty or causes. Huh. I pray that God will never allow you to get involved with that. But if you live a life of no respect for God, I don't know what to say about you or what to say to you. But in everything, I pray that the Lord God Almighty will have mercy and lead you aright. As we continue on this journey of life, the Lord God Almighty will certainly see you through. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Hi, this is Michael Kechuku, the Love Angel Speaks. I thank you so much for tuning in into my station. I welcome you. Remember to check out all other things. We have our deliverance ministry, born again identity, matrimonial admonition, ministerial admonition, the human heart cast, love and romance, and so much more. Remember to subscribe, turn on the notification bell, and they reach me in the comment section, okay? This is the best place to be. May God bless you all the days of your life. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen.